Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been creating this loan calculator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we have completed the project. So we can see that everything is displayed over here. If we change some of these values, so for example, if I change this to 12, and if I click on calculate, we can see that the results are updated and also the chart is updated. So this loan calculator is completely functional. Now the last thing I want to add in this project is input validation. So whenever you receive any input from the user, you have to check whether the input is valid. You should never trust any user input. So in this video, I'll show you how to validate the user input and whenever the user inputs an invalid data, we need to stop the calculation and we need to correct the data over here or we need to notify the user of the invalid input. So right now, if I just add a random input, so if I just type some characters over here and now if I press calculate and now we can see everything in our application breaks. So we need to stop this. Whenever the user inputs any invalid input, we should change this to a valid input. So in this video, we will do that. Let's get started. Right here, I'm in the source code of our project. So let's scroll down and let's create a function for checking the input. So here I'll just create a function. Let's name it check values. And first of all, let's store all the input values inside variables. So we need to get the values of loan amount input, interest rate input and loan tenure input. So let's create variables for that. So I'll just type let and I'll just type loan amount value equals loan amount input dot value. And in the same way, let's type interest rate value equals interest rate input dot value. And we also need to have loan tenure so let's type loan tenure value equals loan tenure input dot value. So this will get the values inside these input fields and store them inside these variables over here. All right, now the next thing we will do is we'll create a regular expression. So let's type let and we will name it regex number. And now let's write the regular expression. So for that you have to type forward slash and let's close this over here. And then you have to start the regular expression with this symbol right here. This symbol is just above the number six. I think it's called the caret symbol. And then for the range, I'll just type square brackets. And in that we will type zero to nine. And here we need to type plus and dollar symbol. So this is a regular expression for numbers from zero through nine. You can easily find these regular expressions on the internet. Just search for regular expression for numbers and you'll find this. So let's go ahead and create an if condition. And here I'll just tap if the loan amount value doesn't match this regular expression. So for that you have to type exclamation for negating the if condition and let's type loan amount value dot match. And here we'll just pass this regular expression. So let's type rejects number. Now if you have anything other than a number inside this loan amount value, then we will set the input field to a default value. So let's type loan amount input dot value. And by default, let's set it to 10,000. So now whenever someone enters an invalid input in the loan amount value, then we will change the input value to 10,000. All right, now let's check whether this works. So let's scroll down and let's call this function called check values. So here in the calculate EMI function, I'll just call the function. So I'll just type check values. And once we check the values, we also need to refresh the values. So if we scroll down, we can see we have this function called refresh input values. So I'll just delete this from here and let's scroll up and I'll just paste the function over here. Now this refresh input values function just refreshes all the values over here. So here we can see we refresh all the values. Now, if you don't understand this, you can watch my previous video. I have explained how to create this function in that video. So let's scroll up. All right now let's save this and let's go back to our browser. And let's add an invalid input over here. So I'll just type some characters and let's click on calculate. And we can see that the input value defaults to 10,000 and uh, we don't have any problems in the result and the chart. Now I haven't added the option of adding decimal values over here. So if I just change this to, let's say 10.2. And if I press calculate, we can see that it goes back to 10,000 because in our regular expression, we are just checking for the values zero through nine. So it doesn't accept a decimal point. And now if you go back and add some valid input over here, so if I just type 30,000 and press calculate, 
we can see that the result is displayed for this value over here. Right now let's do the same for this tenure. So let's go back and uh, here we'll just type if and we'll type exclamation and uh, let's type loan tenure value dot match and regex number and for the loan tenure value I just set the input value to 12 so I just type 12 over here and now let's go back and if I just add some invalid input over here and if I just press calculate we can see that the input field defaults to 12 and we have the results based on this value right here now if I add some valid input over here and if I press calculate we can see that we have the result displayed over here right now let's go ahead and do the same for the interest rate now for the interest rate we need to have decimal points as well so we need to create a different regular expression so let's type let regex and we'll name it decimal number and for this we have to type forward slash for the regular expression and here we'll type the caret symbol and in parenthesis I'll just type forward slash d for any number and then we'll type asterisk to have any number of values and then we will type backslash and uh, point for a decimal point and outside this parenthesis I'll just type question mark backslash d for a number and then we'll have a plus symbol and a dollar sign all right this is the regular expression for a decimal value all right now let's create an if condition and let's type exclamation interest rate value dot match and here we'll just type regex decimal number and we'll set the default value of the interest rate input to 7.5 right now let's go back and let's test it out so let's change this to an invalid input and let's click on calculate and now we can see we have an interest rate of 7.5 by default and if I add a valid input over here so if I just type 12.5 and press calculate we can see that the result is displayed for this input over here so that's basically how you add input validation for your loan calculator all right that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and uh, if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day